Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about creating a cool interactive 3D flip card animation using Vue.js and Tailwind. This is a fantastic way to add a touch of engagement and visual interest to your web applications. By the end of this video, you will have built your own flip card and understand the code behind it. The complete code for this project is freely available on my website at citrusui.in. So uh, you can follow along by copying it. Let me show you where to find it on my website. The link is in the description. Uh, click on it. Uh, that opens this. You can browse components. And you can see on the top there are like four items for now. You can click on card. And you can see that the first item is the one that we will be doing today. So we have a image on the front and on hover. We have a 3d flip and also we have some depth to each element on the back of the card so when we rotate i mean when we are moving the mouse it is rotating also slightly in the 3d so we have this depth effect of elements overlapping on top of each other so you can just click on the code icon on the right side and just copy it and paste it in your project that's all as soon as you paste you just get what you see here you don't need to do anything else so uh, let's head back to uh, vs code and uh, see how we can achieve this here we are in vs code i just have a project with vue.js and Tailwind css installed i've even removed the boilerplate code i just have main.js with app instance created and main.css with Tailwind directives then i have the app.view with the actual uh, code for the effect that we have seen so uh, i just want to explain the code uh, in a clear way instead of me writing the code line by line it takes a lot of time so instead of writing the code in the time i thought explanation and logic gives you more benefit so let me explain the code we have a container called figure and inside the figure container we have uh, the front of the card and the back of the card we have named them accordingly we have flip container for this figure and then we have front flip card front and for the back we have flip card back let me wrap the text so for the front of the card we are just giving an image as background we are not doing anything else and for the back of the card we just gave some information about the image so as you can see it's headings and then just text and image there is nothing complicated here so uh, for the card flip effect what we will be doing is uh, script is not uh, required at the moment so these are the five uh, parts of code uh, ones that are responsible for the card flip effect so we have the container this overall container and then we have the front of the card and back of the card so for the parent container we should give the perspective of uh, 1000 pixels this is not a fixed number you can change it but 1000 pixels is uh, generally a good uh, point uh, to get the 3d effect and uh, for the front and back uh, here the important property is the, this back face visibility so we don't want to see the back of the card when we are looking at the front since we are actually having two elements placed in the same place using the absolute positioning here so this is a relative container and we are using absolute positioning so that two cards will be staying in the exact same place so when we hover on it it looks like single card is rotating so for that reason we want to see only one at a time so we'll hide the back one so and by default we'll flip the card that is on the back to 180 degrees so that when it uh, hovers uh, when we hover and it comes to the front it looks uh, correct like from left to right if we don't do that it looks from right to left so we do this for the back card then uh, we have the front and back in correct position then we will hover on it and when we hover we have 
we are making the front card rotate in y direction for 180 degrees and we have the back card rotating back to 360 degrees <clears throat> so this with this code uh, we will have the flip card animation then uh, we have this move mouse movement animation based on the movement of mouse the card is rotating for that we need a RF from view so we will create a variable called flip container using ref and then we will create two functions handle mouse move and reset rotation so what we are doing in this is we are getting the values of client x and client y that is the x and y positions on the container since we are using the container of flip container here so inside the flip container wherever we move the mouse based on that this x and y values are tracked and using those x and y values we are creating the rotate x and rotate y values and we are using these rotate x and rotate y values to add to the transform property of the flip container that is the figure here so that's how based on the position of x and y the rotation is happening this is the responsible line for that so now we have these two functions and we just have to trigger them on the mouse moment so we'll go to the top we have given the ref of flip container to the figure and then at mouse move so when we move the mouse we have handle mouse move function triggered and for the mouse leave we are resetting the rotation so when we leave the mouse it will go back to the its original position so that's done the next thing is the 3d depth effect of these individual elements on the back the image the headings and badges for that these are the responsible code lines of code for that so uh, we are targeting the each element inside uh, the flip card back let me show it quickly so inside the flip card back we have a h2 ima img h3 and div elements so using those elements we are targeting them so for the inside flip container for flip card back for h2 tag we are making the transform of translate in z direction 40 pixels for the img 50 pixels so like that we are adding the z depth the 3d depth that's how we are getting this depth so with the rotation uh, along with the z depth uh, mixed we are getting this kind of effect so both rotation is and uh, z depth is both uh, required for our uh, 3d effect so the last thing is uh, using for the accessibility reason so when we when we are on this page and we, we press tab and enter the card should flip so without using the mouse for that we have to add these two functions handle flip and handle key down handle flip is actually to know if the card is flipped for that first we have to create a variable called is flip so what this function is doing is if the card is flipped it is removing this is flipped property and if it is not flipped it is adding this is flipped to the flip container and it is also changing the values of is flipped after changing the after adding or removing the classes so when we press enter in this case handle key down whenever we press enter if it is flipped then it will flip back to its original position if it is not flipped then it will rotate the card i mean the flip the card so we have these two functions now we have to add this handle key down function to the figure container so we'll use at key down we'll trigger the handle key down function and this tab index 0 is uh, when we are on the page and when we click on tab first it should go to this figure element so that's why we are using the tab index 0 and we just need one more thing to do in the CSS here we are adding and removing the is flipped class so we have to add this is flipped and do the same whatever we did for the hover so on hover it is flipping the card now even when we press enter it should flip the card so that's what we are doing with this 
that's it with these steps we have built a functional and visually appealing 3d flip card animation remember you can download this code uh, in my website citrusui.in as i showed in the beginning and you can experiment with it customize it further thanks for joining this tutorial on creating a 3d flip card animation with vue.js i hope this was helpful if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe for more cool ui tutorials